it's Charlotte with Makesy. Today I'm going to show you how to make a multi wick candle. So often it can be a little confusing figuring out which wicks to use in your candle. This is often the most challenging part of making the perfect candle is finding the perfect wick. So the wick is the last thing that you're going to select in your candle. First you'll select your vessel, your wax, and your fragrance, and then that last thing to make your candle is your wick. So your wick can vary based on fragrance to fragrance. Uh, most often as candle makers, we're using eight to 10% fragrance load in our candle, and that difference can make a difference in the burn performance and which wick we choose. So today I'm gonna walk you through the rationale on how to make a multi-wick candle and how to figure out which wick to burn test with as a starting point. So first I'll be using our lavish vessel. This is a huge, beautiful, sturdy vessel. It holds 40 ounces of wax. And I'm also going to be using our performance cotton wicks today. So what I love about these wicks is that they burn super clean. They're very easy to work with. They don't create that carbon buildup that you see, that mushroom that you often see on cotton wicks um, because they have a very cool curling technology that allows more of the wick material to be consumed, thus leaving less yucky stuff left over on the top of your wick once it's done burning. So we'll be using the Performance Cotton Wicks today. I'm also going to be using our Supernatural Soy Flakes. This is a microwavable flake wax and it is 100% soy. Um, and then lastly, for our fragrance, I have one of our top selling fragrances. This is Natural Palo Santo and Sage. So this is a very earthy, uh, bit masculine, kind of woodsy fragrance. And so this candle today will be all natural using all natural soy wax, all natural fragrance oil, and of course our cotton wicks here. So I've already melted my wax and uh, it's ready to add fragrance to it. But the first thing that I'm gonna do is wick my candle. When you are ready to pick the right wick, you need to know the diameter across the top of your candle. So in this case, the lavish vessel is 6.25 inches wide. You can either measure that with a tape measure, or if you're buying a Makesy vessel, you can check out the product page and we always list what the diameter is on every vessel. So I wouldn't be able to use just one wick for this candle because it's too wide across. Um, in most cases, when you're using cotton wicks, if you go over around three inches, you're normally going to start double wicking. Um, and then the bigger the vessel is, then the more wicks you'll use. So you have to use a little bit of math to figure this out. Um, but essentially, you can take the diameter of your vessel and then you can determine how many wicks you need to use by the size of melt pool that each wick will create. So in this case, I'm using the Performance Cotton Wick 72. And I know that this wick makes about a 1.25 to one and a half inch melt pool in 100% soy wax. So basically, I'm going to take the diameter of my vessel, 6.25 inches, and I'm gonna divide that by 1.25, and then I know I need to use five wicks in this candle to create a full and even melt pool. Also important to know, you wouldn't wanna take all five wicks and place them right next to each other because they're not gonna create enough distance to achieve that full melt pool. So you want to place the wicks equidistant or equal distances apart from one another and apart from the sides of the container. And that's gonna give you the most even melt pool. So the first thing we'll do here is we're gonna wick this vessel with our five cotton wicks. And I will do that by taking wick stickers and applying them to the bottom of the clip on each. And then uh, this wick sticker is gonna help the wick stay in place so when my candle is liquid wax while it's burning, the wick doesn't start moving around. So the wick sticker is a very important piece of this. And it's pretty easy to find the center on this vessel because it has like small rings on the inside. So you can see where the center is and you can place that wick clip just right down into the middle. And then just so you guys know kind of my strategy behind how I'm wicking this container, I'm going to put four wicks about equally distant from each other in the shape of a square, and then I'm gonna put one wick directly in the center. 
Okay, perfect. So we got all of our wicks in place now. We've secured them with wick stickers. And the next thing I wanna do is keep my wicks from moving around while the wax is solidifying. So I am going to use these wooden skewers. So you can get them at the grocery store. You can get them on Amazon and some little clips to hold my wicks in place. And normally I would use uh, like a wick bar or something a little bit more traditional for this. But in this case, the lavish vessel is massive. And so I had to get a little bit crafty and DIY these wick stabilizers. So I am going to start by just wrapping the wick slightly around and clipping it into place. And that's just gonna hold the wick nice and taut again so it doesn't move around while my wax is solidifying. Um, you can also trim your wicks a bit at this point if you want to, just to cut off the excess pieces and make sure that they don't get into the candle. Um, I, the wicks are pretty rigid, so you can also just manipulate them and bend them. In this case, I just push them up a little bit so they don't get into the surface of the wax. So my candle is ready to pour um, and my soy wax is ready to go. Um, soy wax, typically we pour at a lower temperature around 140 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. So I've got my awesome thermometer here, which I love because it has a clip on the side so you don't have to constantly be holding it or rechecking, you can just put it in and you're ready to go. Um, so again, we're using the natural Palo Santo and Sage fragrance here. And because this is a 40 ounce candle and I wanna use a 10% fragrance load, I'm going to use four ounces of this and I already have 36 ounces of melted wax here. So that gives me a total combination of 40 ounces. Again, four ounces of fragrance and 36 ounces of wax. Again, super natural, earthy, really pretty sage notes in this. Like if you're looking for a very like zen, awesome Palo Santo, this is one of our top sellers. So I'm going to pour all four ounces directly into the wax and then I'm going to stir it for one to two minutes so that I get my fragrance completely incorporated into the wax and then I'll be ready to pour my candle. So let's mix. Last and in my opinion, the most fun step of making the candle, the most satisfying step, we get to finally pour it. Okay, so now you know how to wick a candle with multiple wicks. Today we used cotton wicks, but if you choose to use wooden wicks, the logic is the same. You're just gonna take the total diameter of the vessel and determine which wick is appropriate for your wax and what size melt pool each wick will create. And then you can figure out how many wicks you need. Um, on the opposite side, if you know you wanna use two wicks or three wicks or four wicks, it's all just about creating enough melt pools with those multiple wicks to melt the total diameter of the vessel. Thank you guys for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay in the know on all the latest makers tips and tricks. Now go make it happen.